We grew up around music. Our dad was in a band and our mum would take us to live shows as babies. From six months old, we would communicate in harmony with one another. We were on stage for the first time at the age of five. Just look at these little cuties. We started writing our own music and signed our first deal when we were 18. By signing our Warner contract. Signing your life away. <laughs> we left Australia for the first time that year. Do you ever perform on your own? Thing no, that you want to be. Yeah, we want to make good. it together. Yeah. yeah. And from then, we became the Veronicans. Do we tell you what you gonna do? We toured the world. Our first release went four times platinum. We experienced freedom and the sometimes harsh realities of living life in the public eye. No matter what though, we had an unbreakable bond and a connection with music that would always bring us back together, even in the hardest times. But last year, after almost 15 years of the Veronica's, there was no discussion, no announcement, it just stopped. Lisa and I didn't talk for a year. I was in a relationship that... wasn't good for me. I became very isolated. I had nobody anymore. I only had my relationship. I didn't have anyone in my family at all. I realized that I'd become the enemy in the situation and I was ultimately, my presence and my love was making it harder for her. I didn't have my mom or my dad. When it became too much for me, I walked away. To have the opportunity now to come back together, it would really give us the chance to mend everything that we broke. I want to just move on now. I'm really excited because we are releasing our fourth studio album. Really, for me, it marks the coming back together for us as sisters. It's time to move on. You know blood is for life. You know blood is for life. How far away are we from like being killed? Okay. So we're finally releasing new music and we're back in Sydney doing back to back press and promotion all day. Think of me debuting on the Carl and Jackie O show is a really big deal because it's the biggest radio show in the country. This is the first time anyone's hearing music from our new album, so we're feeling a bit nervous. Okay, I need to advise, girlfriend. Okay. About me now for two seconds. Okay. Okay, well, this. <laughs> yeah, we love that. The undies are on, uh, above it are a no go. I, I kind of like the red, to be honest. Okay, it's hard three minutes. Can you tell that I don't have a bra? Yes. Okay. Your tag's sticking out. Let me help you out. Oh, no, it's not. No, you're fine. How are you feeling? <laughs> it's the first time I'm having to talk to anybody since my breakup. And Carl's really well known for being a shock jock, so I'm just nervous that even saying her name might set me off and I don't know what I'm going to say and I don't know how I'm going to feel. It's a very personal song. There's a lot of feelings written out in it, and so I'm just quite nervous about that. About people hearing it and just about certain people hearing it. When someone goes through the kind of relationship Jess was in, it's not like one day you just wake up okay and you just forget all those different things you were made to feel. Are you good, though? Yeah, I'm really nervous. Although I have so many regrets, in staying as long as I did and not standing up for myself more, I did the most that I could to love that person the best I could. It's all right. Fine. I do so much work on this idea of acceptance and forgiveness. Whatever happens from there is that person's karma. They will continue to manifest what their life is and I will continue to manifest what is for me. It's very dark in those hotel rooms. So I was doing my makeup this morning and I was calling Jess. It's like, I don't know what I'm gonna look like when I emerge from this cave because it's so dark. 
But then I looked at her and I was like, I look exactly like you. <laughs> okay, so prep me, prep me, prep me. Are we almost there? I feel like we're almost there. I have recognised this street. So you've written a song about giving head to your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> what, um, what do you think? <laughs> She's going to think of song. starting to get hot, I can feel the tears in my eyes and I just start thinking about every question that they might ask me and how I am just not prepared at all. Come here sweetie, come here. It's just overwhelming. I find it really hard to say her name. I find it really hard to hear her name. I find it really hard to have that relationship referenced back to me because I still find it difficult to process. No, 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 no. The only one thing, you know how to cook. I'm sure she's sick of it. The girls are here, Jess, Lisa, good morning. Hi. Hey, good morning. Good morning, good morning babe. Good to Hi, see you. It's been a long time, I feel yeah, like. it has. It's been a couple of years. Yeah. What's <laughs> been going on? Oh, my God. They weren't even friends not, like, that long ago. <laughs> yeah. We read that there was a feud and that you guys weren't talking. I thought, bullshit, this can't even be real. <laughs> but it right. was real, right? There was a problem there for a while. I know. If only it had been a publicity stunt, that would have been yeah. a lot easier yeah. to manage. <laughs> no. We're, we, um, yeah, we just had to work out a few things that were happening in, in my life personally. What's this song about? Yeah. Think of me. Is it what you want someone, an ex, to think of you nonstop forever till they die? Is that what that sort of vibe? Let's be well, real. All our exes will probably think of us forever they until will. the day they, they die. Will. What happened with the Ruby thing? That's long gone now. What yeah. happened there? Because you guys seemed like you were in love and then it was finished. Yeah, you know, it was a very complex relationship and it was time to leave that situation and be as happy and healthy as I deserve to be. Wonder and that yeah. you do deserve that. Now, uh, Lisa. Yes. Married. I am. Kicking ass, the beautiful <laughs> yeah. husband, the farm life. <laughs> wow, things you couldn't know get well. better. Yeah. How good yeah. do you guys look together? Oh, thank you so much. I love uh, it. He's quite quite an incredible human being. I'm inc uh, very yes, lucky. You are. Thank you so much. Thanks for the support, babes. Bye. 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 I could have collapsed when I walked out of there. It was a really, really good chat. Yeah. Because that moment could have been so bad. And I didn't think about it until I got in there. I thought, have I set myself up? It's some big tabloid moment. I was given so much grace and respect that I felt like I was being treated like a human being. I really did. Sorry, it's making me emotional. We have a lot of support here. We're yeah. very, very lucky. So think of me. Can, can I, I give start? some context? No, I want to start. But, no, I'm starting. Okay. okay. That's fine. It would have been better, but okay. that's fine. Yeah, it was actually really fun and, and they didn't linger on any unpleasant or uncomfortable questions. And yeah, so it um do you not are you just like totally checking out now? You're having a fucking attitude moment and not even not, I'm contributing. Letting you speak. Yeah, okay, Lisa. Now to everybody else, she's probably just being quiet and letting me speak. But to me. Okay, well, I'm not going to speak okay, over you. You haven't taken a dynamic today. You haven't, so people know you haven't you're taken you haven't taken a breath for me to speak. Okay, but you're not even engaging whatsoever. You're yes, literally I am. looking down at your coffee like I'm looking at you. Whatever. All I'm saying I'm is listening. if you want to contribute, that would be nice. This is I just said I wanted to start and give some reference to Okay, you. but Jesse, you're speaking about your experience and that's great and you haven't stopped talking for me to speak. I'm not going to speak over you. Okay, Lise, you speak over me on the fucking daily, constantly. I don't speak over you. Okay. Well, we'll just sit here in silence then. I love your outfits. Thank you, darling. What time is our appointment? I think it's 12 o'clock. So we've had this cosmetic procedure booked in for about six months. So we're really excited about it. Lisey's gonna go first though because she gets 
nervous with needles and stuff. I get a lot of facials and this is sort of just the next step up from a facial. It's just that they go inside your face. So I was like, yes, into looking youthful, not so into needles. Our faces in 24 hours, we're gonna look so amazing. But I know that they're smiley and stuff. This is so cool. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Exciting. Jess seems totally cool with this, but I'm freaking out. So the numbing cream essentially just numbs my whole face from feeling anything. <laughs> Lisa's level of paranoia starts now. You can't feel your face. It's freaking you out, isn't it? I can't feel it. My lips either, and is my mouth moving? Yes. You're, you are having a slight reaction to the numbing cream. Have Am a I? look, yeah. What do you mean? It's a little bit of a rash. Oh, yeah. Am I doing... Is, is that my... normal? Oh, my God. Jess has just pointed out that I'm having a reaction, and I go into full panic mode inside. Oh, my God. No, it looks fine. It looks just no, topical. Definitely. You're fine. It's just a skin reaction. We're just so sensitive to everything. It's just a small skin reaction. No need to be dramatic. Oh. Your face is yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, wow. You're really sensitive. She's not being dramatic. That's not happening to me. Mm, it's mm. just you. Do you want to I tell feel first? a little bit like I'm having a little bit of a... Yeah, okay, let me get, let me get... You stay here, I'll call. I just have to grab her an allergy tablet, like, stat. Okay. No, you're fine. Just come have a lay down. I'm just going to get you a top, uh, allergy tablet. No, you're fine. It's just topical. But you've definitely had a full-on reaction to that. Okay, have a lay down, sweetie. You're, like, tight in your chest. Do you want to go to the hospital? No, I don't really want to go to the hospital. Here I was saying you're dramatic, but you're not even. <clears throat> Are you having a panic attack? Do you I have CBD know. oil? No, 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 no. I just feel like it's swelling a little bit. Okay, do you want to go to the hospital? Show me. Show me your tongue. The rash is red. It's starting to get really bumpy. It's overtaking my entire face. And I think my throat is closing up. I feel awful because I'm here with the numbing cream looking perfect and she's over there looking like Freddy Krueger. So they have to take the numbing cream off. Come sit down. Hey, hey. how are you? Got I some water? Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, I just took got... a towel oh, fast. Okay, cool. That should be right. fine, right? Yeah. I'll give, it's normal. It's just gonna okay. be a little bit strong and it's compounded with the old Yeah. Hey. Hey. Oh, okay. <laughs> I will not let the fear of this rash outweigh the fear of Jess looking better than me. I will power through. Feeling all right, Chichi? It can give you a bit of an instant boost. Oh my gosh, wow. Wow. Bit of a lift? I can yes. see that. You should wait for 12 weeks, <gasps> That's the magic. <laughs> This will be the first time we've performed together in quite some time. I feel like I'm now a panic attack and then we're on. Best will be if they just don't recognise us. Like, who are these random girls walking on stage? Good. Now? Yes. Yeah.